uh, Robert Creeley and Duncan are amongst my own masters. What I would like to ask them is what advice they can give us on the mission of poetry in the 19, late 1970s and the 1980s, if they could talk about that for a while. The mission? Yeah. You spoke that, about, you used that term earlier, which... Yeah, which, but uh, that, that must surely be the one you let out, out of yourself. That mission isn't handed to you by someone else. That was where Charles blew up when he's attending oh no. Pound. He, he at first, I think he thought he'd get his mission from Pound. That's part yeah. of what he blames him and for. And he happen. blew up. I mean, he wasn't going to get the mission <coughs> even from Melville. And, and, and it erupted out of himself. My mission didn't come. Uh, there's a transmission in a funny way, yes. But your mission, that, that's a something that you blow the whole thing up. That, by the way, that voice back there, I wasn't putting it down. That's what a mission does. It comes yeah. up and says, we're not going to have any of this. And it advances something. And, it does it. And, and, and at first you say, well, yeah, how come you look so negative? What in the hell are you advancing? Well, we it's got no to choice. advance something. If it's a mission, it comes forward with what it's got to do. 